Okay, we are in the flex room. I'm gonna bring all of the toys in here, take everything out of cabinets, baskets, drawers, all of the above, and dump it on the floor. Oh, say a quick prayer, because Lord, there is gonna be so many toys. Welcome to my channel, Flourish Freely. I'm Justine Warnish, and on this channel, we talk all things home, family, design. Today, we are going to be talking a little bit of design and organization. So, I am organizing and going through all of my kids' toys currently. So, I really wanted to like make this video and hopefully help you guys because it's taken me a year to figure out like how to organize their toys, what works best. We had all of their toys and like as a playroom set up in our breakfast nook and then that didn't really work out so then we moved everything into the dining room we had it like then we only had the breakfast nook as a dining room and a huge playroom in our dining room area that didn't really work out so then we did half dining room half playroom that didn't work out you get the gist so we've tried literally everything i've rearranged their toys their playroom literally probably like six times Okay, so what I've landed on that I think is gonna work the best is organizing all of their toys into all of their separate rooms and kind of creating like stations, essentially. So like Montessori, we love looking at and learning from the Montessori style. I wouldn't say that we're full-blown Montessori, but they have like centers and stations. And so like at this station, you know, there's the little kitchen station and baby station and block station you get the point so i'm kind of hoping to create that within all of their rooms so we've already done malachi's room and in his room we have legos trains cars all of that kind of stuff and then in the girls room i'm going to move all of their baby doll stuff and kitchen stuff and then the flex nursery playroom catch all room i'm going to store the rest of the toys and organize them so that I can pull bins out and rotate those toys. So baby dolls in the kitchen are something that the girls play with every single day so that's not something that I could really rotate but I need to keep out because like I said they play with it every day. As far as Malachi goes like those are kind of the only toys that he has. They all play with Legos all of the time so I think that's great having all of that stuff out but then all of the rest of our toys I would like to separate them to where we can rotate them and then they become fresh and new and to help keep them entertained. So on this video, I am going to organize all of the toys, show you the final process. And because we've tried the playroom and their toys in so many different areas, there are literally like toys everywhere in every room and including our dining room. And so I really just wanna get everything out of our dining room, everything organized. So it's an absolute mess right now. It is a disaster. And I wanna show y'all that. I wanna show y'all the process of like what it looks like because it's not perfect. I don't want you to just be like, oh, you know, I want it to be realistic. So as you're doing this in your own home, you don't feel like, oh my gosh, my house is a disaster because that's normal. So no judgment here. Let me show you um, my dining room currently. And then I'm gonna show you our flex room currently. Um, so that room is, I call it the flex room. It has a crib in it. So we're gonna use it like as the nursery. Um, that's where Lux sleeps right now until she's on the same schedule as Blaze. But I'm still preparing their room together so that as soon as she's ready to transition, I can just move her in. And then spring will go into the nursery. Um, so it's a disaster don't judge me it's here it is okay here is the um dining room and i've just kind of been throwing toys on there over there is like i changed out cushions on our couch and yeah it's just so beautiful <laughs> so right here is the flex room slash nursery slash playroom slash I don't know but we're gonna figure it out room and this is kind of what my kids did this morning they made it a disaster so it couldn't make for a better um before video this is the other side of the room we also have toys in that cabinet so like organizing all of that stuff 
and that's your that's your before okay we are in the flex room and I'm gonna get started organizing the toys so I just think that this is the best and easiest thing to do I'm gonna bring all of the toys in here take everything out of cabinets baskets drawers yeah. all of the above and dump it on the floor and that way I can see how much stuff we actually have. I really want to minimize their toys. I want to get rid of the things that they don't play with anymore, things that are broken, kind of put those in a box, donate those, and then see what we have left, and then organize all of those toys by category into baskets and bins and the rooms that I'm gonna put them in. I just think that's gonna be the best way to see what we have, what I don't wanna keep anymore, and to just like motivate me to get all these toys back and put up where they go. Um, what I found in cleaning and organizing and decorating that the best way to like start doing something is just start with a clean slate instead of trying to like shove stuff on a shelf and take stuff off you don't want I recommend just clearing off the whole entire thing so that's what I'm gonna do with the toys um, my aunt is so amazing and she is actually going to come and help me organize all the toys she has experience with Montessori play she loves kids loves toys and so she is like thrilled to help me so I am gonna receive that help and we're gonna get started organizing all these toys and setting up the stations let's do this okay it's the next day and I finished all of the toys it was it felt so good to just like go through everything it actually didn't take that long it maybe took an hour and just to see like what we had and like reorganizing like reorganize everything it just was really refreshing um, I got everything set up in the girls room and it looks so cute like the toys I'm still I still there's some things I still need to do in their room but I'm gonna make a separate video for their whole entire room but I do want to show you guys um, all the toys and how I organize all of that what it looks like for right now so here it is here is the little play area and it's so cute so we have the play kitchen and then this cute little wicker shelf and that has like all of their kitchen toys in it and baby doll toys and it just came out looking so good so I cannot wait to fully decorate this room and show you guys that but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of the toy organization so we worked on all of that yesterday putting everything in these baskets and then I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all Malachi's room and the toys that are in there so here we have some of his little trucks that he loves to play with and this cute little basket is where all of his Legos are we have these little gather pillows here those are like seat cushions so he could essentially like sit back and read books there on the floor or we can come in here and sit on those and play in this little basket are his train tracks here we have all of his toys we have like books that he loves and in each basket um, are things that are his we have dinosaurs here this is just empty there's a little gather mat right here this is so that he could lay this out on the ground with like little his little blocks and even build train tracks on top of that it just gives him that flat surface to build on we have his tools in here um, cars in here and another big car in there and that one's empty but I just really wanted that toy is going off now um, we'll just have a moment for the dump truck okay so that was all of the toy organization that I did in Malachi's room and in the girls room I organized in the flex room but that's just in like one of those ikea totes that has all the drawers if you loved this video you should click the subscribe button if you want to see the future videos i'm going to be 
doing the girls room so decorating getting a rug hanging things on the wall I will be having a video of my dining room so this is the biggest sneak peek of your life because this is where I'm sitting is in my new and beautifully decorated dining room so if you want to see these videos you want to learn how I decorate and design on a budget how I organize and how it all happens behind the scenes with kids and the thought process behind it all you should click that subscribe button and follow me hit the notification button so you're notified when my new video get released I'm gonna try my best to get a video uploaded or one video uploaded a week and then also if you just want to follow more of my life see more behind the scenes see my everyday life then you can follow me on Instagram my handle is at flourish dot freely check it out come be my friend come flourish with me and don't forget to click that subscribe button